177. And then if we subtracted out these two, then we would have the cash receipts up here of 530, 568 minus the 427, 177. And that's going to give us 103, 391. Now I'm going to make another assumption that we commonly do in, in a problem, commonly do in practice, and that's going to be that we want to maintain a minimum balance of 40,000. That's going to be an assumption that we're going to make in this particular problem. And if we uh, receive more than that, if we're above the 40,000 each month, we're going to pay off the line of credit. So we have this line of credit. That's what this short-term loan is. We're basically saying, hey, if we dip under 40,000, take out a loan. We've made a line of credit in order to do that, to, to have some security there. And if we go over that uh, period, uh, that amount of 40000 then let's pay off the short-term loan. We're over that amount. We're going to pay off the short-term loan, 12000 And then if we uh, calculate our ending balance, we then have the 530, 568 minus the 427, 177 minus the 12000 And we have the 91 uh 391 now okay so that 91 391 is the ending balance of july which will be the beginning balance of august that's where we're going to start in august then we're going to go through the same process again so we'll jump through a little bit faster here same ideas though we got the cash receipts from customers i won't go back and pull that but we're going to pull it from the same place we pulled this and then if we add these two up we've got the total cash available then we're going to go through our disbursements. So we got first payments for raw materials. Now this number here we got from our balance sheet last time because remember there's a timing difference. This time we're going to have to bounce back to our raw materials because even though we are in August, remember the assumption is that in a cash flow we're going to we're going to, all the purchases we made in July we're going to pay for in August. So that's why this number here is what we're gonna pay for in August, and we have to jump back here and pull that number. So just uh, be careful there that we're always kind of a month off here because we're talking about cash flow, which is different than purchases when we purchased it. All the rest of it's gonna be the same. So same. this is coming from the same area, we have to jump back, same area, we have to jump back and pull these same numbers out. So same process in these items here. And then, we're going to say we have dividends. So we're, this problem is going to make an assumption that we did pay dividends or we're going to pay dividends. We're planning on paying dividends in August. So that's going to be this 10000 that we would have to add to our budget.